Hey everyone, it's Jeannie here. Today, I am so glad to be joined by NBA star, Orlando Magic forward, Jonathan Isaac is in the house. We're not here to talk about his amazing athletic skills. However, we are here to talk about something new that he has launched, Unite Us, the clothing brand. And I don't wanna just even limit it to clothing because I don't know what the Lord will do. But um, I had the honor of attending your launch event in Orlando. Jonathan, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Yes, this is awesome. I um, am still highly waiting for those sneakers to drop, <laughs> the Judah collection. Phenomenal, phenomenal. I can't wait. And I, you know, I wrote about Unitas and I, I displayed some of the sneakers or the kicks or however people call them tennis shoes. I know in Chicago, that's what they say. But um, let's let's start from the kind of the beginning. Why did you um, feel impressed to create a brand as Unitas? Yeah, so I got to take you back a little bit. Back in 2020, I was a Nike signed athlete. I got injured and I didn't resign with Nike. And from that point, uh, I was actually talking to my pastor and I was like, hey, uh, this is what's going on. I'm, you know, looking for a new sneaker company or stuff like that. And he said, why don't you create your own shoe? And I was like, OK, I, I don't I don't. That's probably not as easy as it as it is to be said, just oh, go create your own shoe. And so I started to go down the process and found that it's definitely difficult, but it can be done. Um, and I was more so even thinking from the standpoint of just for me. Like, hey, I'm going to create these sneakers, call them the Judah One, um, really just wear them for myself. Uh, I love, you know, obviously scripture and the word and putting scriptures on the shoe. My middle name is Judah, so I wanted the shoe to be lion inspired. And so I started to go down the road of like, hey, um, you know, I'll just make a shoe for myself. And then the idea really got exploded to where it was like, hey, why not? Why create something just for me? Why not try to create something for everybody um, that again stands for the values that I think are being undermined in today's society. And I told my pastor about it. We talked about it. And he actually came back to me. It was a little while later. Um, and he said to me, he was at the altar and he looked at the uh he looked at the uh the the now I'm blanking the Ark of the Covenant. And we have a Ark of the Covenant right there in the middle of our altar, and how the the wings of the angels are pointed at the flame. And he said, Lord, unite us. Like unite us together. And um, he came to me and said, you need to name it Unitus, U-N-I-T-U-S. And I said, I absolutely love it. And so the foundation of the idea, the foundation of the name is all founded on the principles of God and just and just prayer, like asking God to unite us as a nation, as a people, um, as a as the body of Christ. And so as we started there, the idea just grew and grew and grew and we started to play with it. I came up with, you know, Unitas, it starts with you and ends with us. And just what, what, what could this look like to give freedom loving Americans and faith loving Americans the freedom to buy with their values and simply just, I wanted to see my values represented in the marketplace that like at the base level, that's it. Hey, we live in America. Companies are free to go in whatever direction they want to. They're free to support whatever they want to support. But I want to see my values, the ones that I hold dear. And I know that millions of Americans hold dear represented. And so if they're not going to represent them, then we can not just complain about it, but we can represent them ourselves. Yeah, it's, it's so true. It's it's crazy. I, it's crazy the times that we live in where, um, you know, even the brands that you buy are so outwardly kind of outspoken about things, political things or social things. I, I just I always think, why would brands or companies even do that when Nine out of nine out of ten times, they're gonna have people from both sides of the aisle purchasing 100%. their stuff. I I just don't understand what is happening to the people where they feel like they have to be so outspoken about things that it just it segregates or destroys you know the views of somebody else. It's just kind of interesting. And I um, I, I can tell you why I can tell you why it's because the conversation has been framed in a way where. If you don't agree with these set values and precepts, then you're automatically deemed as hateful. It's not just that you have a differing set of opinions. It's that your opinions, 
if they align with Christ, if they align with family, if they align with traditional values, then you're seen as a hateful person. Right? So it's it's easy to just for companies to jump on the bandwagon and say, hey, we support these values over here because the people over here are hateful. Whereas the truth is most people who stand for these values aren't hateful at all. Um, they just mm -hmm. believe differently. And so even with Unitas, for me, from the very beginning, it's not about hating anybody. It's not about trampling on anybody else's values. It's saying, hey, you're free to have your values and go in whatever direction you want to, but we're free to have our values too. And our values are just as valid. Our values are the bedrock of what I believe has produced this prosperous and amazing country that we live in. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to celebrate them and support them and also bridge the gap for you to understand where we're at. We're not cutting anybody off. We're going to be tolerant of you, but you also have to be tolerant of us. Yeah. And I love that. I'm grateful that we have people like you in the public square taking that stance because it's not the popular stance and you are in the front lines of it. I'm sure you get the other side of it where people are deeming you hateful or, you know, pegging you in a certain way. Talk about that and, and how you're able to kind of persevere, stand in the face of those giants. It, it's 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 very difficult. And it would it would be silly for me to say that it's not it's definitely a weight, um, but the it's so much bigger than me. It's so much bigger than just what we're trying to accomplish. Um, even going back to what my pastor said about like, Lord, like unite us. Like this is something that's bigger than me as an individual. This is about the body of Christ. This is about the, the heartbeat of our country. Where are we headed? Where are we going? And so I have, I would say I have gotten used to, I've, I've formed some calluses from taking my, you know, taking some shots. Um, but it's bigger than me. And I know that I, I know what it is to stand alone. I know what it is to to be ashamed of what it is that you believe. And I don't want anybody else to feel that way as well. And so if I'm able to build a community of people who are strengthened because of their values and because they see there are other people who don't look like them that believe like them, um, then we can all kind of have a sense of encouragement and pride about what it is that we believe. Mm, that's beautiful. Talk about the importance of having a spiritual covering, somebody speaking yeah. into your life. You talked about B Bishard Hepburn of Jump Ministries uh, Global Church here in Orlando, just being that voice for you. Talk about the importance of having somebody that is kind of speaking into you as you're out there. It's 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 probably the most important thing that I have. And I, I, I thank God for, you know, grace that I was able to submit myself and 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 try my best to continue to submit myself. It's not something that is easy, um, but it's been the most important thing that I've ever done outside of giving my life to Christ. Um, having spiritual authority, having spiritual accountability, um, has kept me in line to the to the best of his abilities. He's kept me straight, kept my head on straight. Um, especially in times where I've fallen, where I've, I've been injured. Um, I've been mad at God, all those type of things, having somebody in your life that can be there when you're down and not just when you're up has been the difference in my life. And so um, being able to lean on his wisdom, being able to lean on him, hearing from God has also helped me tremendously, even with Unitas, there, there wouldn't be a Unitas um, if it wasn't for him, you know, speaking that into my life and in my ear and seeing me farther than I see myself. And so it's it's, it's been amazing. Mm, that's beautiful. At the event, I saw his daughters were involved. They were walking the runway with some of the merch on. Your wife jumped on stage singing, unite us, unite us. I don't know if she, she's a rapper. That was so cool. But <laughs> just that, um, you can see the community. You can see the family of God. And I just saw how everyone, you guys were all moving as a team, united um, for the message. That's powerful. 1000%. Um, you know, Jesus's last prayer, what did he say that, you know, he prays that we would all be united, that it would be a spectacle for everyone else to see. And I've learned that in the house of God, I, I've learned teamwork, I've learned putting others before yourself and everybody putting their hands together to make one goal come to pass that helps everybody. And so it, it, it's been something that has been truly just inspirational from my standpoint, being able to look back, take a step back and be like, wow, these people believe, these people want to help, these people want to be a part, and they do it with the, the most grace and the, you know, the biggest smiles on their faces, just wanting to be a part of what God is doing. And I think that is a that sh what should the kingdom of God look like? People from different backgrounds, having experienced different things, loving the same God, loving each other, and working for the advancement of the kingdom. Mm-hmm. 
It's funny you say that because as an athlete, I guess, yeah, you you totally know what teamwork is like. And sometimes when we think celebrity, we think just the celebrity. Um, right. But you, you've been forced per nature, per the life that you lead to actually have to rely on teamwork. And so who better to come up with a brand, Unite Us, than you? Talk about that, though, the fact that Unite Us is trying to unite people. Do you think it's possible to unite the pe people on both sides of the aisle? We have you know, the, 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 the super woke, the anti-woke. And I know you even branded Unitas as an anti-woke company. How could, how, how do you, do you think that that's possible to bring together? And then you can kind of talk about the anti-woke thing after. Yeah, I, I think it's possible. I do think that it is extremely difficult for me, even I, I think the whole anti-woke phrase, it's very, it's very capturing. It's very polarizing. I wouldn't myself even tag that for United. It's like saying, hey, we're anti-woke. People have kind of put us in that box already. And I totally get it. it it's it's kind of that tag word. And in, in, in a lot of senses, we are anti a lot of what is happening in our country today, what people would consider woke. And so I understand that. But for me, I do believe that there is a an opportunity to reach people who are not all the way there. There are so many people who are looking out on the, on the other side of the aisle and saying, wait, I'm not there. I may not be all the way here either, but I can get down with foundational traditional values. Um, not maybe not even completely living them in my own life, but I can get down. I can get down with the promotion of these values. I can get down with faith in God. I can get down with a lot of these other things that we're standing for, even if they're not all the way there. And I think that's what Unitas is trying to capture. It's the it's the sensible, reasonable values that we believe lead to a prosperous society. Love, loving your neighbor. So much about Unitas is about this, the aspiration of true greatness. And, you know, true greatness is one of our big taglines where it's like, hey, we are working towards being the embodiment of these values. Yes, we fall short. Yes, we make mistakes. Yes, we've done a million things wrong in our own lives, but we're striving to become better. And so we're striving to love our neighbor like ourselves even better every day. And I think as Unitas grows and people are able to see the heartbeat of the brand, people will warm up to it and say, hey, this isn't just some hateful anti-woke movement that's happening here. This is a company and a brand that's standing up for their values, but they're also living them out. They're not just parading values around there. They're trying to be the difference that they want to see in the world around them. Hmm. So for those who are watching and don't even know what woke is, what would you describe that as? I would just, there's, there's so many ways to describe it. I think there is a very technical way to describe it where it is it's the notion that everyone is, everyone is kind of groups. Everyone is seen by their race, their sex, um, their ideology, and that is the most important thing about them. And so we're putting everybody into this category. If you're Black, you should think this way. You're oppressed. Um, you know, you can't have or be anything if not for somebody else. If you're homosexual, if you're all these different things, um, then you just, you, you belong in these different categories. And based on how oppressed you are, is based on how much you should receive help and love and notoriety from the world around you. Um, and I think having that as a bedrock of society, if everyone believed that, it would be heading towards a very destructive, um, uh, just destructive culture and destructive world. And so I think I think uh, uh, that's what we've seen a lot from like the woke culture that people are trying to push. Um, so that, that that's one way that I would define it. But I would I would also define it as a lot of people are trying to when you try to put things together, like black, you know, a lot of the, the things that are going on with the LGBTQ community, all the things that's going on. I think it's, it's this idea that what they're doing is compassionate and it's founded in compassion. And if you are an empathetic and compassionate person, then you should jump on the on board with everything that's going on. And I just disagree. I, I think even for me per se, take, you know, a lot of the things that are going on, I believe the compassionate view is to stand on truth in love. Um, I think that's true compassion when you can love somebody, but still stand on the truth and be able to walk them through what it is that they're going through and not just affirming their decisions or affirming their choices, even if they are destructive. And so um, I, I would define woke in those couple of ways. You um you talked about true greatness and that being one of the catchphrases of the brand. Um, we'll end here and you can feel free to add whatever else you'd like, but talk about um following true greatness you know you you said in the event you said true greatness is found in Jesus Christ Amen. and um you also talked even during this interview that 
sometimes the the values of Christ in this day and age are considered hateful or seen in a negative light. Can you speak to the truth of the true greatness that we follow in Christ? Yeah, I, I just, I don't think people truly want to understand them. I think if you truly take Jesus at face value for what he said and for what he did, you will find a, a God in the flesh that truly loves people and laid down his life for everyone. Not that we would live the way that we want to live, but we would adopt his way of living and love him and honor him. And in that we would be prosperous um, and become who God has created us to be, whatever his will is for us individually. And so I think a lot of people don't want to they don't want to see Jesus for who he is. And so it's easy to throw him in a bucket and say, okay, this, this is one thing he said that's hateful, this, that, and third, and we can chop it up and take it out of context and, and, and move how we see fit. Um, for me, true greatness is simply this. The world defines greatness as who you are, accolades that you carry, what you've done, and will rank you on how great you are. Um, but I believe that true greatness, not the world's kind of greatness, but the true greatness and the true greatness sense is found in no other than the example of Jesus Christ. That is truly great to lay down one's life, to stand up for um, the marginalized, to, to, to love people where they're at. That's truly great. And so what we're doing with true greatness is redefining greatness in the way that the world sees it, but redefining it for ourselves. This is what true greatness is, standing up for values, loving people where they're at, being a light unto the world, the way that God has commanded us to, that is what makes you truly great. Um, and if you do that, you could have no accolades whatsoever. You could be the worst player on your team. You could be the worst person or player, whatever, at your job. You you, you don't have to come in first to be truly great. Um, and that, that's what true greatness is. That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Or even please let us know how to get connected with Unitas or what we can expect. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, lastly, I would just say you can head to weareunitas.com, U-N-I-T-U-S, weareunitas.com. You can head to We Are Unitas on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, um, and just check us out. Get to know the heartbeat of what it is that we're doing. And I believe that once you do that, you will want to support, you'll want to, you know, want to see us be successful. And this is just the beginning. We have big dreams about being able to truly feel the leisure wear and sportswear space. So sneakers from, you know, for all different uh, sports, clothing wear for all different sports, and then being a kind of bedrock of dope leisure wear as well. Mm, yes, I agree. It's all amazing. I want it all. <laughs> all so right. Much. Thank you so much.